You'll have to do all that again. Oh, no! No! Hi, everyone! It's Mr. and Mrs. MLG here from Mighty Lancer Games. Let's get into the shot. Uh, and he happy, was so enthusiastic. Know, happy anniversary! It's our two year, two year Twitch anniversary today. Hey! <laughs> Hi, everyone! Hi! Oh, dear. <sighs> yes, he's, he's, he's got his suit on. Are you going to show Are you going to stand up and show it? Yeah, full, da, 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 da. full suit. Yeah. You've gone off. Yeah, there we go. Full, even the trousers. Yeah. Yeah. Came, thought, came, years, eh? came home uh, came home from work and Mrs. MLG had got all poshed up so I thought I'd best join in. So so, so what I can't, I can't get this right. Just didn't want I can't, cause the I thing's reversed. Oh, I just it always looks like it's off to one side, like it's one well, kick. Yeah, it the yeah. yeah, there we go. You're right over there. Yeah. How are we all? <laughs> anyway <sighs> No, so I thought oh it'd be really cool. Uh, for the anniversary stream, if I put something sparkly on, uh, then I realised I don't own anything sparkly at all. I even looked in, you know, the section in the wardrobe that Cheers. you reserve for Christmas parties. Um, Cheers! Cheers! For Christmas. <laughs> Cheers! For Christmas parties, there's nothing sparkly in there, so I gave up on sparkly and just put my red dwarf t-shirt on, <laughs> uh, which, which. Uh, Still kind of nearly fits me from the, from the 90s. So, and, I, and I've got my red, um, what's he called? Uh, the dead guy, Deadpool. Deadpool leggings on. I've got my Deadpool leggings on. So, they, and, and I've got my hoodie on. So, you're all suited and booted and looking real smart, and I've got a t shirt and leggings on. And monster hoodie. You have to turn it up just because. Oh, sorry. Too. Okay. So hang on, let's have a look then. Let's have a look, let's say hello to everybody. Hi. Hi Pete. Hi Pete. Hi Methuselah. Hi. Hi Tony. Hi Tony. Hi John. Hi, John. Hi, Hi Lady P. Hi Lady P. Hey. <laughs> You're just gonna repeat yep. her. Yeah, yeah. Hi Val Bay. Hi. Hi Wicked D. Hi. Hi Sharon. I think that's everybody, isn't it? I think that's it. Oh, hi, Red. Hi, Red. Red. Red's down there. There's just too much chat. <laughs> hey, <Kariko. laughs> Hi. Hello, everybody, and welcome to two years of us being daft on stream. And then we're going to have a hydrate because Pete redeemed a hydrate while we were busy yapping. Oh, so I uh, am hydrating with uh, Fire Eater because uh, that's really hydratory. Yeah. And it has got coke in it. And, I, and I've got some of this. Two hydrates, all right. Two hydrates. Yeah, that was my news announcement. Uh, so let's have a look. I've got a dog around my nose now. <laughs> Sharon says, happy anniversary. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. I never thought that we would possibly ever make it past a week, let alone two years. No. That's a bit nuts. A bit I time travelled as I subscribed for two years, two days ago. Yeah, well, we set we set the Twitch up, uh, getting ready, and then today was the day that we did our first live Twitch, and you painted a miniature. Yeah, seven seven zero three zero, and it was all scary. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon is listening and painting. Hi, Sharon, listening over there whilst painting. Yeah. Uh, you shouldn't have said, I. Uh, you should have said I have sparkly. It could have run you something up. That's why it's not that important, is it? I'd have felt a bit weird in sparkly, to be honest. Yeah. Which is probably why I don't own any sparkly. I think. Uh, I think I've got all the way back. Down. Have I got all the way back down again now? Have we seen the new black cherry kraken? No, no, I haven't seen new black cherry kraken. You've only might, read the normal might, one. Yeah, haven't you? might have to. Look for some black cherry cracking. That might mm -hmm. sound, seems good. Yeah, I do. I like Jim Bean. We don't get Jim Bean, do we? No. <laughs> Sorry, Lady P's managed to get into her lolly, so ah, it's all good. Right, right, excellent, excellent. <laughs> Yay! Yay, lolly, getting into. <laughs> uh, Red's got his best uh, underwear on. Yeah. So that's always uh, always good. Party I'm, mood. I'm glad. I'm glad. I was really excited there. Thought Black Cherry Kraken was a mini. Oh, mm. that'd, that'd be cool. 
There's a cool. there's a WizKids mini that's come out fairly recently. There's something like Reservoir Kraken. Uh, that it looks pretty cool. Does it look all right? Even though it's a WizKids mini. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I haven't got the Pokemon. Oh, we're not got Pokemon well, active. It's because I don't normally have this this uh, screen on, do I? No. Right, you 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 can just uh, talk to people a moment while I try and. Oh okay. Uh, so this evening we've got a uh, we've got a quiz lined up. <laughs> we've we've got a quiz lined up for you. Uh, Twenty questions, all about games, not necessarily uh, Dungeons and Dragons type games, but uh, we have got some some cool uh, cool questions that hopefully you will all enjoy. Have a little bit of fun, uh, and and we can just have a natter and all that sort of stuff. I can't remember what they are. I set it up last year. 8 bit orc. Yay, your journey begins. Your starter is Sobble. Sobble? What's a Sobble? Sobble's like a blue. Blue. It's like a blue. Yeah. Excellent. Right. Karanika says Reservoir Kraken sounds like a Tarantino film from an alternative universe. I've. um, There's a. Like a Tarantino double bill, isn't there? It's supposed to be like a grindhouse thing. Grindhouse is not like what you might think it is. It's a genre of cinema, uh, and I've only ever seen one of the two, which is Death Proof, in which um, Kurt Russell is like a serial killer, uh, and then the other one's called Planet Terror, and I've never watched Planet Terror. Uh, I need to see that one. <laughs> Do, just yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Okay then. Sorry. Uh, apparently, planet planet terror is fun. Says uh, says Tony and Kariko says you're not missing much. <laughs> <laughs> so is... sorry. We're gonna do the quiz. So you should be able to see quiz kit. Uh, so if you're on a computer, it should be uh, over here somewhere. Most of you have played before, and if you're on a telephone, it should be down here somewhere. And then I think we established last time. If you're on the tablet, it might be, it might be up here somewhere. Uh, and then you have to say that it's okay to authorize it uh, so that it can get your score and stuff like that. And I'm going to do my very best at remembering how to make it work. It has been a little while. I think it was Christmas, wasn't it? We did the last I think, time? Yeah, I think it was Christmas last time. Which in my that. brain is like 16 years ago. Because when I set the stream up earlier on on the computer, uh, I hadn't. I was completely oblivious to the fact that I'd set up the Christmas stream view. And Mrs. MLG came in and went, it's, it's not Christmas. Christmas. Baubles and red stuff and snow all over the place. I didn't do a party when I'm afraid. I thought about it, but then I added some uh, Kobe uh, new stock instead. Sorry. Uh, so he has got his sweets. If you want um, him to eat any of his sweets, yeah. And obviously uh, there is the stream loops cards. If you want to do something silly with those, um, we're on a PC. It's inverted. That's why I keep. It's normally here somewhere. It looks like. A dark blue square with pink and blue writing, and it says Quiz Kit. Uh, Wicked D wants you to eat some sweets. Which sweets, Wicked D? Which sweets? What would you like? To wait for it now. Hot the crisps. hot crisps. The uh, the the patos kritos. So we're talking about making you do the, some kind of. Crisp yeah, I've seen thing. some some kind of weird uh, hot sauce or something. Isn't it? One chip challenge. Little Miss had a smog ball again mm. today. She keeps trying them and then going, I don't like them, but she keeps eating them. Well. Hello. Um, I was just trying to work out if they actually had any flavouring. They smell like barbecue. Mm. You want to try one? Nope. They're not spicy. Nope. They, they will be for me. I, th I don't think he's bothered by them. I think you're going to have to try the one chippy thing. Yeah, I think we'll have to get we'll have to get some one chip sauce. Yeah, get whatever him some it over. I'll make him try them. <laughs> 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 yeah. They're they're all right, these. 
So, uh, I do always put our streams on YouTube. Please follow us and subscribe. Uh, but we have established that the quiz questions don't show up on the YouTube, despite the fact that they show up on our screen and the screen that I'm recording and stuff. They, they don't seem to show up on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you won't be able to see the questions. But I, well, I will get in to read them out. So okay. if sorry, if we all remember, uh, it gives you uh, a, uh, four answers, and the faster you press an answer, if you are if you are correct, the more points you get. But if you are incorrect, the more points it takes off you. So if you're not entirely sure about an answer, sometimes it's better to wait. But don't be a big cheaty cheaty bum and not answer at all, because that's boring. Give it, give it a go, give it a go. Mm. Right, I'm going to attempt to make it work now. Oh, so, ready. Tacky Fuegos are definitely hotter. Than, oh, than, those, than, those, yeah. the perfect than, things are um, Patos Kritos are uh, mildly barbecue flavour, I believe. Even though it says they're hot spice. Might have to get the habanero hot sauce out and try dipping a minute. Are oh, you making Panda cry? He's hungry. Panda's hungry because you're eating and he's not. Panda's a wimp. <laughs> to view, ask ask viewers to manage access by clicking the quiz kit icon, which is what I was wittering on about being a roll over here, and and um, allow manage access and and allow. And then we can see your name, and then we can see that you're winning. It hasn't ever sent me any spam or anything like that, so. Um. Oh, I've lost me. Yeah. <laughs> I've lost me now. Different screen now, it's gone. Mm. Uh, oh, it's tiny. So yeah, you, pre you press manage access and then you press grant, and then it should it should work but the, equally now i have lost my little screen that i need to make the quiz kit thing work in the first place you should see the uh, the rules at the bottom uh i can't see the quiz anymore <laughs> 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 yeah. so are we all ready because we need to finish on time because it is actually wednesday today and wiki d will be streaming yep. today because I thought she was streaming yesterday, but it was on Tuesday. I see rules! Lady P sees rules. Awesome. Hopefully everybody else sees rules and therefore knows that it is working. Yes. Are we all good? Shall we yes. go? Kroniko is ready. I'm assuming everybody else is ready. I'm ready. You're going to be reading them out. All of them? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've established this early on. I'm going to try my very best okay. to shut up no. and let you and let you read them because I can't remember what. What? No, turn my head like that. There's like some weird lumpy bit here at the back. Is your hair down? It's not like a. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just your hair. Sweet. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah. See, Red Snail would rather you talk. <laughs> You're gonna read the. You know. You know. I won't be able to stay quiet for long. No. Uh, are we ready? Yes, we are. Here we go. In board games, an additional or amended rule that applies to a certain group or place is informally known as a what rule? House, custom, change, or extra? Ooh. Hopefully. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. <laughs> Hopefully you can all see that, because that's how they're going to look for you. Uh, fingers crossed that you can all see it. We did have a play about before with uh, having it on the different screen and stuff, but it was too small and nobody could see it. Pando says, it's nice to meet you all, uh, because Pando's feeling a bit left out. <laughs> so, read the question again. In board games, an additional or amended rule that applies to a certain group or place is informally known as a what rule? And the answer is... House! House rule! Six people got that right and one whoop, whoop. went with custom. So, there we go. That's what it's going to be like. Mm. Let's go. Question number two. 
What is the maximum level you can have in a single class in Dungeons & Dragons 5e? 25, 30, 20 or 15? Now sometimes... This, this I must clarify, this is player's handbook level of uh, knowledge. Sorry, put you off. That's fine. So we're reading them as we see them, but you might get the answers in a slightly different order because it sends them out just randomly. Well, that was a D and D question. It was a D and D question. I said it wasn't going to be a D and D, and it, and it is. Look at me putting a D and D question in. <laughs> oh, Wiki, Wiki D got the, the last one wrong. <laughs> Don't worry about it. And the answer is. And the answer is twenty. Oh, that was split. Look, we yeah. got some extra players that time. Who's being naughty and not answering when they don't know the question? Mm. In the uh, in the in the player's handbook, you can uh, you can get up to level twenty. Woo! Oh, Cody goes double guessing themselves already. <laughs> <laughs> what you did guess and uh, well, was wrong again. It's fine. And Red Snail says it's rigged. <laughs> Possibly. So I I wouldn't I'd have known the first one, but I wouldn't have known that one. No. You ready for question number three? Are you, are yeah, ready, I'm are ready. You ready, quiz master? I'm ready. I'm not doing very well at being quiet so far, am I? No, it's fine. How many dots are on a single die? 21, 15, 24, or 18? Quick, quick maths. You know stuff like this just off I, I do. Know, I do know the answer. I want to know. Oh, party music now. I don't know if this is the copyrighted music that I'm going to get told off for using. <laughs> Why, maths? I oh, know, I'm sorry. <laughs> got to mix it up, got to mix it up a bit. And the answer so is... 21! Good guessing, because, everybody. <laughs> yeah, because the opposite sides of a dice, the six-sided dice, the opposite sides add up to seven. Never counted on my fingers so fast, says Wicked D. And question number four is coming up. On a standard Monopoly board, which square is diagonally opposite go? Is it the electric company, jail, go to jail, or free parking? Come, we should all know this one. Everybody's played Monopoly at some point. We have two sets. We have a whole Monopoly, mm -hmm. which, uh, you know, I, I wrote a card for. <laughs> and um, we have the normal, we have the 1980s Monopoly. Yeah, yeah, o yeah. OG. And so is that yours or is it? It's mine, that one. Yeah. So, it, which obviously isn't the... But, no. It's only an 80s version. Yeah, yeah. But it's yeah, been around the, the, the for whole like one, 100 if you years. The whole one, one of the cards that you get, I think it's Community Chest, I wrote one of those. That's my only claim to fame ever. Are we ready for what's mm. diagonally opposite go? Free parking! In our house when you get community chest and um, chance and you have to pay we put it in the middle and if you land on free parking you get all the money yeah we have a classic London version and the Paris version awesome yeah. we've just got the whole one because yeah, I wrote a card for it you can, you can get Monopoly like everything can't you you, you can. can get uh, well if you can get Monopoly Hull then uh, <gasps> yeah, you should be able to get like Monopoly everything but there's there's a National Trust Heritage one and there's, there's all, all sorts, sorts there's, there's everything Everything in the world. Nintendo, Lady P's got Nintendo version. Oh yeah, Pokemon, Monopoly yeah. and all sorts. But it's just the same game. Star Wars, Monopoly. With different Monopoly. pictures. Yeah. Yeah. So, there you go. I've also, we actually, we have also been Mr. Monopoly. Yes, we have, yeah. In the official Mr. Monopoly costume. Which comes with rules and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, there we go. Moving on from Monopoly. <laughs> Question uh, number five. The, the posh bit of Hello, Hull. Uh, who <laughs> is the main character in the VHS tape included in the board game Nightmare? Is it the gatekeeper, the monster, the crypt keeper, or the nightmare? What posh bit in Hull? Did I say something was posh? In, well, in, like Mayfair and Pat Lane would be the posh oh, bits on the normal It's split thing. into companies. It's, yeah. It's split into companies, isn't it? So yeah. I can't remember who Mayfair is. Don't know. We'll have it's to get it like, out and have a look. 
It's got sports grounds and things on it and companies and stuff. Yeah. It's over there. Kuranika says there. they've got the US Navy one. What's that got what? on it? Like different boats and stuff. Ships. They're wow. not called boats, oh, they're called ships. Pokemon. The Tapalele. Oh, up there. Yeah, but which finger's that? <laughs> that <laughs> one. 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 one! There's a Tapalele. They're, they're rare. Tap-a-lele. I like that one. That one's cool. It's inverted, which is... I'm not just being really thick. It's very hard to see. It's got I'm different aircraft carriers. So it's cool. Pokemon. Pokemon. That's it's... interesting. Oh, don't be coming in with your Ultra Balls, Pete. I want to catch the Pokemon. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I'm wicked luck at them throwing Ultra Balls about. Yeah. Brooks of Hull. Used to sell prams. The only memory of Hull. <laughs> you went to university in Hull, didn't you? I did. I don't really know Hull. I know where... Because I'm, I'm retired now from my proper job. From my proper job. <laughs> and we used to have an office in Hull. So I know where that is. And, and that's it. Well, technically, I'm retired from my proper job as well. Well, I was made redundant. I didn't yeah. get... I, I didn't get... To, I didn't get made redundant. I, didn't, I just yeah. left. Um, like a daft head. But I used to be the... Uh, I was district heating manager for Humberside and East Riding or whatever it was. I can't They changed the names of it all the time. Humber and Lynx. And that used to cover Hull. So I used to be like the uh, manager for all that kind of area. Oh, you see, we should have a MLG general knowledge quiz where you have to remember all of this, and then we're going to quiz you on our yeah. lives. What did Mr. MLG do before he for a living? Before he <laughs> before he had his dream job yeah. of opening a game shop. Nobody caught Tapalele. Oh, that no, not having that community Pokemon game. That's that's not on, is it? I'll find it and take a picture of the for the Discord of the um, Navy one. It's... Is it the whole? Is it Hull every map calls or Kingston upon Humber? Always confused me as a kid. It's Kingston upon Hull because it's the River Hull that joins into the Humber uh, properly, and it's Kingston because it was originally King's Town uh, because it it, it, it was a um, royalist uh, centre, basically. Oh, you're just too knowledgeable. You make up for all my lack of knowledge. <laughs> We're ready for question number six, everybody. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, I haven't re- even told you re- question number re- five's answer re- yet. Reveal the answer. What? Well, read out question number five so we can uh, remember. Who was, was the main character in the VHS tape included in the board game Nightmare? Was it the gatekeeper? It was the gatekeeper. <laughs> so I'm going to tell them what the answer is because we're on. <laughs> the gatekeeper. Yeah. Roll the dice. That's what used. That's my memory of it. <laughs> Nightmare. Have you got one right yet, Wicked D? How are you doing? Kuniko was guessing as well. Yeah. Are we ready for question number six? Yeah. I'm ready. In Magic: The Gathering, what instant card has the highest converted mana cost? This is a tricky one, isn't it? Is it Vitalizing Wind, Blink Moth Infusion, Chant of Wives, or Assert Authority? I do not know the answer to that. Well, you do, because it's... Well, I, yeah, it's I know what it is, because I can see it. But uh, Would it have changed since I wrote this question? <laughs> <laughs> don't think so. Because I don't know anything about... You, you're yeah. a Magic the Gathering player. I know, you but... Have I, Friday Night but, Magic at the shop. But I wouldn't... Uh, well, I'm quite interested to know what the... The highest converted mana cost, or the converted mana cost of of that card is because because yeah, there's some that have got some pretty high costs. You know what? I don't I don't know. I just wrote that question. Ah right, okay. Uh, are we ready? Let's to find let's out reveal the answer? the answer. See who knew. One and person. The, the, and the answer is Blink Moth Infusion. So Apparently. who who got it right? And was it a total guess, or did you know? Hmm. Ask Dan. Dan won't know, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Pando says, How is everyone? I'm changing mm-hmm. tactics and going for the last place as we now <laughs> come on. Me! <laughs> says Red Snail. Did you get it right, Red? Well done. One yeah. in four chance. Uh, question number seven. Okay. We're going to have to power through some of these questions. In. How many rooms are there, not including the hallways and the set of stairs, in the board game Clue or Cluedo? Uh, six, one, ten, or nine? Come on. 
Come on. We have Cluedo as well. I like Cluedo. Clue and Cluedo are the same game, aren't they? Yeah. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. You've got to, you've got to press the button, little corporal. Press the button on the quiz kit to join the quiz. Press the button. <laughs> and the answer is... Nine! Excellent. Pete says you got it wrong. So what are the... Uh, you said we had to power through, yeah, and now yeah, you're going to yeah, get yeah, around yeah. billiard room, hall, yeah. ballroom, kitchen, conservatory... Study. Study. Is there, a di is there a dining room? I think there's a dining room. Might have been a dining room. Don't know. I can't, I can't think of any of this. Is there a library? Ball, ballroom, there library. Ballroom. There might be a library. What's the last one? I don't know. Scullery. <laughs> They're in a scullery. There's a, there's a kitchen and a conservatory. There's a study. What what that goes to sell? I can't remember. No. Anyway. Don't know. No, I don't think there's a toilet. Red. <laughs> That'd be rubbish, wasn't it? Yeah. I got in... killed with a lead pipe in the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Next question. Is, how many pieces are there on the board at the start of a game of chess? 36, 20, 16, or 32? Ooh. You can play chess, can't you? Uh, yes, not very well, but I can. I don't even know how to play. I've only figured out how to join this after being asked by Mrs. MLT two months ago. Not techie. I'd stay quiet in the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're glad to have you. Yeah, it don't matter. It's only for fun. You can see my, you can see my window. Where, where's the thing? Mm. <laughs> when, uh, oh, we're ready. Oh, so, so I used to play a bit of chess, and then the people that I was playing chess with got really serious about it and started reading books on different strategies, and then it became not fun anymore. Mm. Uh, how many pieces are there on the board at the start of a game of chess? The answer is thirty-two because there are eight squares in a row across the board and you have two rows of each on each side 32 okay, can we just take a moment yeah. wiki d got it right yeah <laughs> yeah Is... i can't i can't do any times table so i've got i've got no help at all are we ready yeah question number nine how many dice are used in the game of yahtzee Eight, four, five, or six. Got all these free hydrates. Oh, I was just going to say, you free hydrate. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have free hydrate as well. You've already got your left. This is, not, this is nice, by the way, if you ever... Uh, Fire eater. Very, very tasty. Very tasty. How many dice are you using in the game of Yahtzee? Oh, uh, Wiki D wants to put a wig on. Oh. That means we've both got to put one on. I don't know if it'll fit off my hair. Which one would you like, my <laughs> dear? Something that might fit on my head. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not even a proper wig, is it? That's just a bit, a bit of a whatever that is. That's about the same colour as my hair, anyway. And what have you got? Oh, we're both purple. <laughs> oh no, it's stuck. It's stuck in my actual hair. I can't see. It's not gonna stay on my head. <laughs> uh, anyway. How many dice are used in the game of Yahtzee? Five! The answer is five! How's this working? Pete's got a hydrate. No, oh, it's not working at all. That'll have to do. <laughs> <sighs> we do, we both look so pretty. Ah. Uh... Next. Oh, she's on a roll now. Next question. Question 10. Halfway when through. was the board game Twister released to the public? September 1965, January 1969, February 1966, or April 1966? I made them nice and short. <laughs> <laughs> we, had, we had Twister at school. Twister. The boys thought it'd be fun, and then we realised it's not fun. Because it's hard. It's, uh, yeah. It's definitely a young person's game. 
Yeah, but we we were at school. Yeah. We were young, yeah. but we just weren't very flexible. No. We, and in the colony, had a concrete floor. It was not very good. So, are we ready? See who's guessed right? Or who knew? If you know, if you actually knew and didn't just guess. Tell us. We need to know. Put it in there. Nobody! <laughs> Nobody got it right. The answer is April 1966. Exactly, Lady P. Imagine playing it now and the sound of cracking bones and joints. When we had uh, our Halloween fun day at the shop, we had a Halloween version. And Little Miss went, come on, Mum, play it. I went, oh, no, 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 I can't get down mm. there. So I, I spun the thing while the kids while the kids tried. And even they decided that it was rubbish. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. I, uh, oh, in the board game, Settlers of Catan, a dice roll of what number causes the robber to attack? 7, 3, 1, or 10? Yes. We sell this, don't we, darling? We do indeed, so. Uh, We've got a 3D version as well, haven't we? Which is yes. Which is su su feet. super expensive. <laughs> it's expensive. I don't know, I don't it's, know. It's a collector's item with hand sculpted and painted um, tiles, sculpted by the creator of the game. And. Uh, Kuroniko has never played Catan sober. I've never played Catan. No, I've only ever played it twice, I think, and not done. Like, we were learning how to play it, so it wasn't particularly successful. Um, shall we? Shall we? See? Yes, let's see who the uh, who the answer is. Painted by the poor. <laughs> In the board game, Settlers of Catan, a dice roll of what number causes the robber to attack? The answer is seven. And no and nobody got it right. Have I made these a bit too hard? No, Sorry. it's multiple guess, isn't it? We ready? Yep, go, go. Sorry. In Magic the Gathering, what term for blocking was established in the portal set? Blocking, shielding, resisting, or intercepting? That's too much. Why can't I put too magic? I don't know. It's... I think I was running out of games. <laughs> it's hundreds of millions, but I was running out. I've got a big purple hair across my face. Did we do Pete's hydrate? We did. I did. Oh, okay. I'm going for blocking, meaning blocking. <laughs> this is Karen Echo. Well, we'll soon find out, won't Another we? Another turtle made, made it to the water. water. Another turtle's made it to the water and gone. Whoop, whoop. Congratulations, this, this turtle. This is the kind of thing that I do when you can't see me. <laughs> you can actually see me now. That's scary. The answer is intercepting. You know, so when I sit there and he's painting and you know, all these silly noises, it's because I'm doing daft stuff like this. Oh, come on, that's right next to the mic. Sorry. This sounds like you've had a wee now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just topping my drink up. Well, I'll do it a bit further away. The answer, the answer is intercepting. I have been playing Magic for probably about five years now and I've never used the term intercepting as blocking. Oh, you wouldn't, would you? I mean, why would you? You'd just say blocking, wouldn't yeah, you? I don't, yeah. Maybe, like, you know, you're just not very good. Maybe. Do you want some more no, I'm fine. I don't need a wee. Thank you. Okay. Are you ready for yeah, question Yeah, I'm, I'm ready 13? for question number 13. We're Look ready. Ready, ready, ready. Which so, character class in Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition game its powers from making a pact with being a higher power? Yep. Yeah. Warlock, cleric, sorcerer, or wizard? <laughs> That's a wizard. Oh, a wizard. Okay. <laughs> uh, you weren't looking, so I had to start reading it and I'm rubbish. Red, red, red snail needs a wee. My head was getting warm. Well, it's been uh, six minutes. <laughs> Little fluffy bits. Look. I've got like a like a weird quick bit.
just do the same thing. Yeah, but that's what, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. Chicken dance like a chicken. Isn't it? That's it. Chicken. Chicken dance. There's a wild Pokemon that looks like a Pikachu has had an accident. Uh, oh, it's a Morpico. I said it looked like a Pikachu has had an accident. You don't have to put it. It keeps what? messing up in the background. Do you need to tilt the camera slightly? No, because it'll fall off. Oh, okay. Uh, are we ready for the answer? Yeah. Did you like our dancing? Who danced best? Did you won it. You did it properly. No, you, you did you. it properly. <laughs> Red snails found a ball. <laughs> 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 the answer is warlock. Warlocks make a uh, pact with a being of higher power. Nikki D's got a question for you. What is the difference between a wizard, a warlock, and a sorcerer? So, a wizard learns their magic. With books and stuff. Yeah, with books and stuff. A warlock makes a, uh, a pact um, with, like, a, a... Higher power, hence yeah. the question. Uh, yeah, so, like, a, a demon or whatever. And uh, a sorcerer is uh, innately magical. So... Uh, they, they, they're just a magical creature themselves and can naturally do it. Never heard of a warlock, said Tony. That must be a new one. It's, uh, I think they brought them in in like third, 3.5 maybe, as like an extra. It wasn't in the core player's handbook, I don't believe, in, uh, in the earlier editions. Pete and uh, Lady P bought the Pokemon. Excellent. Are you ready for question number 14? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Which, which card is on the cover of the beta rulebook for Magic the Gathering? Who wrote these? Is it Bogwraith, Rock Hydra, Elvish Archers, or Island? It must have been a Friday. You must have been out <laughs> playing Magic and it was on the mind. <laughs> Two years. Two years of listening to us. What would you like yeah, to see yeah. in, the, in, the, in the coming future of Mighty Lancer Games and Mighty Lancer Games Twitch streams? What, what would you like to see our wonderful, wonderful viewers? Because it's all about you, isn't it? You see? We only do it for you, Rob. More dragons. Gotta go <laughs> to the toilet, says Red. It's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't feel like two years. No, it feels like 20, doesn't it, Pete? <laughs> Mrs. MLG, you have spent far too much time sorting. I think that's maybe it, yeah. <laughs> I've even got Mum sorting the magic cards out now. <laughs> uh, are we ready for the answer, yeah. my darling? Yeah. The answer is Bograith. Bograith. Is that how you have to say it? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Bograith. So, like, we, we, we Bog. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready, ready, ready. Question 15. In which year was the pen and paper RPG Deadlands released? Was it 2003, 1999, 1996, or 1993? So Lady P would like us to see us doing a Let's Play session on a stream with a new board game or something. Now, we have talked about this. Yeah. I'm not sure how we can set it up. Because there's only the two of us. I have tried to rope Wicked D into it. But I don't know how, with the computer being at home and the camera, how we could get it set up. But we have brought home Mansions of Madness about a month ago. Yeah. Because you said that it's a cool game, even though we've never really played it, but everyone says it's a cool game. So yep. we're going to learn how to play it, and then we were going to play that on stream. Yep. So and we're trying. But some games just... There's boring bits in the middle where nothing happens, isn't there? On so, on some games, so mm. we have to, we'll have to think about what would be you know fun to actually watch and how we could set up the camera. Ah. Wicked D says the puppy keeps licking my elbows. This is making quizzing quite awkward. Just <laughs> well, that's your own puppy. Yeah. Not like that horror story. Remember that that horror story everyone used to tell when they were kids. Uh, and they're asleep, they're asleep in their bed and they've got a new puppy and it licks their fingers and they wake up and they go to the toilet and there's like puppy smeared all over the mirror that says you're next and then you realise that like it wasn't the puppy that was licking your fingers. 
Don't you remember that? Mm, no. Is, is that, was that just a horror story people mm. used to tell me? Mm, maybe. <laughs> Has anybody else ever heard that? Mm. They, obviously, when they tell it, it's a bit more dramatic than that and a bit longer. But and, uh, Anyway, let's, let's look at the answer. Yeah. The answer is 1996. Five people got it correct. Well Woo! done. Well done. 40k battles. Again, that's the problem with 40k though, Pete, is that's played at the shop and the camera's here. Yeah. We have thought about it and we just don't know how, how to do it. Have a practice with something like zombie dice. Every shot is a shot. Well, we could do your zombie game. That's fun, that, that we play at Halloween. Mm -hmm. And it's not very long. And little, little red lights that, don't they, Red? You need a cat. They make board games so much more interesting. You can borrow mine. I'll just be sneezing <laughs> the entire time. We're allergic to cats. <laughs> <laughs> Set up the zombie game. You did a Halloween. Oh, I didn't even read it, Red, and you'd <laughs> written it already. <laughs> Great minds, that's what that is. Uh, question number <clears throat> 16. Look at Knights of the Game Table. They stream from a shop. Which of these games includes the phrase, do not pass go, do not collect £200? Two hundred dollars. Payday, Cluedo, cop it, or Monopoly. It should be an M, because it's not dollars, is it? It's mm. Monopoly monies. Ah, oh. well, there you go. That's the answer, everybody. <laughs> 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 oh dear. Nice so, gave it to the play from the shop, but they probably got their setup in a shop. Pete, the, my computer is at home. <laughs> I think. I think. Uh, Kind of like my uh, my new resolution of the week. What? Uh, well, like we talked about just before the stream, that we we probably mm -hmm. need to watch a little bit more YouTube. I watch YouTube all day. Okay, I need to watch a bit more YouTube. I don't watch people. I watch people reviewing stuff though. Yeah, mm. <laughs> you watch some uh, quite bizarre stuff, don't I you? I do watch some quite bizarre stuff. No, they go round shops. Well, they probably see the th the, the thing is, Pete. Um, as much as much as I love you, you have to remember it's just us, and we don't have any money, and we don't have equipment. So they probably have like Patreon and stuff where people fancy cameras and pay them to make awesome videos and things like that. We don't we don't get paid for any of this, so we don't have anything that we can buy a new. A new thing that we could carry about. Yeah, when it, when I see people going around shows, war game shows, and they're filming for their YouTube channels and stuff, they've got all sorts of fancy gimbal mount things that self-level and all sorts of stuff that they're waving around all over the place. There's one guy who goes around the big shows, and he's got like a full-on, looks like he's filming for a documentary. He's got this like whole rig that supports his cameras. Insane. We've got Absolutely this. this we've got this dodgy camera that only zooms in this far, even though the zooming bar goes yeah. another, yeah. another whole section that is now yeah. precariously balanced on top of my monitor. And Nathan's that he uses is gaffer taped to a light. That's right. That's and, that's and, how classy and, we are. And when we do videos at the shop, they're done on our phones. <laughs> and and there, was, there was one the other day that I was filming him because I have to hold it, obviously. Uh, and I was filming him and it was moving to my heartbeat and it was, I was holding it as still as I can. And then you see, I think it might have been one of your GW ones. Yeah. And it's just good like... <laughs> and I couldn't stop it doing it. <laughs> so, so yeah, Super high tech here at Mighty Lines. There's that problem that we have. Yeah. But we are we are trying to think of stuff. But, yeah. Honest. Uh, do you, would you like to know the answer to Let's this? Let's know the answer. Even though we all know the answer to this. Yay! Everybody knew the answer! Yay! Yay. Woohoo! Oh, I won't want to break anything now. I'll be really, be really nervous. Panda says, How is everyone? Are you ready for question number 17? Ready. Because it's Wicked Day be streaming soon. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of these is not a real game in the Dungeons and Dragons series? Advanced Dungeons and Dragons 2nd Edition, Dungeons and Dragons 3.5 Edition. Extreme Dungeons and Dragons or Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Why did you say that? I don't know. I just didn't want people to think that I was putting inflection on a certain one to. So you did it on wait. that one. I just did it on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you are silly. 
I think we'll, we'll be all right, Wicked D. We've only got three we're questions left. We're, we're trying, Wicked D. We, yeah. we had you in mind all this time. Corinne Eco says, I picked poorly. Oh, what's that? It's, um... Princess Bride? No, it's, uh... Dungeon... Not Dungeon Dragons. <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Last ah, Crusade. Where they're, pi- where they're picking the goblets from the... I knew, I knew I'd heard it. You picked... I'm still wisely. puzzled by the wraith of the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready yeah. in, for Indiana Jones? Apparently, there's going to be a new Indiana Jones Can't movie. Be. Yeah, yeah, he's he's back. He's coming back no, to do it to do no. another one. It'll be, we started watching Picard last night. It'll, Indiana Jones will be like John Luke in Picard, where he looks like about a million years old. But at least they're not pretending that he's young. Oh no! The, yeah, he's, the... you know, when he fell on the floor, he looked like he'd thrown a hip. <laughs> <laughs> Bottles full, hurry up, says Red. <laughs> so the answer is Extreme Dungeons and Dragons. Excellent. Only one person got it wrong. That's pretty cool. It was filmed in Glasgow. What, Picard? Or Indiana Jones? Indiana Jones. Must or be Extreme Indiana Dungeons Jones. and Dragons. Extreme Dungeons and Dragons. And question number 18 is the board game Monopoly takes its street names from which real American city? Oh, this is a proper factual question. Uh, is it Atlantic City, New Jersey, Duluth, Minnesota, Las Vegas, Nevada, or Charleston, South Carolina? Do you mean this is an actual factual question? They're all well, being factual yeah, it's, real it's, answers. No, it's because um, this is the original version of Monopoly, isn't it, that we're talking about here, not like the current incarnation that we all know with like London streets. Indiana Jones. I do seem to have focused quite heavily on Monopoly and Magic the Gathering. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Current Eco got it wrong. The Dun- Dungeon Dragons question. <gasps> or claims to have. T- to be fair, I don't think I've known any of the answers to any of the questions. <laughs> Red Snail's going cross-eyed. We can have a. Can we have a break for a minute while Red Snail visits the lavatory? Would Congratulations you, you if you knew the answer. It is Atlantic City, New Jersey. No, Red says no. Red says get on with it. Okay, no problem. Let's go. Question number 19 is... In a standard game of Monopoly, what colour are the two cheapest properties? I know this one. Is it brown, blue, yellow or green? I know this one. I actually know this one. That's one that I know if I but. was playing. <laughs> Bladder of steel, says Red. Uh, these are my favourite properties to purchase in a game of Monopoly. They are. Uh, because they are the cheapest and it is easiest to get hotels on them. And nobody suspects... But that they're gonna, that they're gonna get, they're gonna get like four hundred and fifty or five hundred and fifty like rent for landing on that hotel. That's uh, right. Let's go. Question answer time. Please. So the answer. Is... And the answer is brown. Mr. It's brown. brown. It's Old Kent Road and Whitechapel. Mr. Blue on your shoes. Brown is the worst color. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. MLG hates brown when painting. That is correct. Yeah. Okay. I don't two. Know if I've ever played Monopoly. Oh. If I do, I don't remember. So oh, we've, Sharon. we've only got one well, question. It's like every question's been about Monopoly. I'm very sorry. I hadn't realised <laughs> that I've made so many Monopoly questions. We do have another another quiz uh, lined up, which is mm-hmm. called Just for Fun. Which we can't remember if we've actually done with you lot or not. But when we looked at the questions, we couldn't remember any of them. So we're guessing we haven't. No. Uh, But that's another 20 questions. So that's for another 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 day. day. So the last question in our two-year anniversary on Twitch stream. The dog is kicking me under the table. Is probably about Monopoly or Magic the Gathering. Mm. The Dice Tower network of board game podcasts and videos is run by which individual? <laughs> Both Samson, Jason Levine, Tom Vassell, or Uncle Pennybags? I have no idea where that question the, came the, from. The what what? <laughs> and the who? I must have Googled it. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know any of these uh, people are. If anybody's ever watched the Dice Tower network of board game and... Uh, 
podcasty <laughs> video things. Uh, are they any good? Because um, I've not watched. <laughs> I didn't know it was a thing. <laughs> They're probably like mega, mega, like famous. And... <sighs> oh look, there's a there's an angry looking chip monkey beaver thing in the top corner. A patrat, otherwise known as a wild Pokemon in chat. So are we all ready? Oh, we all know that you know this. <laughs> you know these answers. Uh, and it is. And the final answer is Tom Vassell. Now, did anybody actually know that? Or was that just a guess? That's what, that's what I want to know. <laughs> Uncle Pennybags I, I, sounds like a Stephen King film. I really wanted it to be Uncle Pennybags. <laughs> I am not entirely sure if Uncle Pennybags is a real person or if I just <laughs> made that up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to recall the Victorian terror of Whitechapel. Was it Jack the Ripoff or Whitechapel Wibbler? Oh, excuse me. Yeah. You scared him, Tony. No, I needed to yawn and I didn't need him oh, to see it down my throat. No, it was just one of them spontaneous, like, it's going to happen whether you like it or not. So how do we all think that we got on then? <laughs> Wiki D says, this is not my finest hour. <laughs> <laughs> Resner says, I will be late to your stream, off for a stream, me send, and empty me bottle. Alright. <laughs> 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 Pete says that it's obviously come first. Yeah. And that we, obviously, we don't need to even look then, do we, Pete? Because you've obviously, uh, obviously come first. Mm-hmm. Karinika says, minus 93,764, totally going to win. Uh, Lady P caught a Pokemon, well done. Excellent. Here we go. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Not right next to me. You see that red thing? Yeah. That massive, great big red thing? Yeah. That's the microphone. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Eight bit orc! Let's win! Lady P, you won! Yay! Woo-hoo-hoo. Lady P, Sharon, came Sharon. Second, red came, red came third, red! Yay! <laughs> Contestant number eight. So whoever that was that didn't press the button came for. Yeah. Tony, Tony fifth. John the Templar sixth. Wicked D seventh. Pete the Hydrate is eighth. Kronika ninth. And perfect target tenth. Woohoo! Well done, everybody. I hope you can uh, I hope you can see that. <laughs> that. That, is a, that is a hideous face that I'm pulling on the other screen. That I must have been pulling a couple of seconds ago. <laughs> Very sorry for my hideous faces. I think eight, eight is me. Well, it, it might uh, be. I mean, that yeah. would make sense because uh, yeah. your, your name's not there. But you have to yeah. press the uh, allow access button for your name to come up. Otherwise, we just get a load of numbers and we don't know who anybody is. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. As if I came seventh, says Wicked D. Yeah, Pete, Pete came last, but Pete... No, oh no, sorry. Perfect Target came last, but um, Pete was probably trying to come last. Were you trying to come last, Pete? Well done, everybody. Nice. John came sixth. Awesome. Third. Third. Now red is off for a week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hang my head in shame, says Karaniko. It's fine. Did you have fun? Yeah. Well, I'm not asking, I'm asking you. Oh, okay. I'm asking them. Did you have fun? Did you enjoy our random gaming quiz that turned into a do you know about Monopoly quiz? <laughs> that really just was a Monopoly quiz, wasn't it? <laughs> You'll have to help Monopoly, Magic, and Dungeons and Dragons. So, um, we did. We did say there was a discussion in the Discord about doing a miniatures quiz, questions based around miniatures. All right. Um, which you're going to have to write because I don't know anything about miniatures. But do you want it to be kind of uh, what Reaper miniature is? Seven, seven, two, three, four. Own flame. Uh, that kind of thing, or do you want it to be? A mixture of stuff like um, when was WizKids established or something like that. What what kind of questions? Have a think about how you would want a miniature quiz to be because I'm not entirely sure how how you would do it really. What you would ask really. A nice think, mix. I think we should just um, mm. just mix them up. <laughs> just make some up they got to be oh yeah got we, to be what people actually know the answer to yeah I need, I need uh, yeah 
I need to check now and see if my knowledge is correct that 77234 is uh, we have a bo bone flail. Oh, that's bright. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what was I about to say? Seven, seven. Two, three, four. Yeah. Boom! Oh, you just wanted me to say yes. You're <laughs> right. <laughs> that's that's. You just made me look just so we could say yes. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I <laughs> did. Let me get well, you. my my uh, my knowledge is getting a little bit rusty on uh, some of them because. Yeah, well, we, we've got a lot more ranges now than we used to have for you to yeah. remember. Yeah. Oh. A lot more. A lot more. I think I could only get names and not SKUs, says, says uh, Sharon. Yeah, I have to think of. I have to have a, like a mix. Mm. A, a bit more of a mix than the all about Monopoly quiz that we've just had there. How about which books is this mini from? Yeah, like what range? Yeah, we could do that as well. That could easy peasy. Space Corps directives from Red Dwarf. <laughs> oh, that'd be good. But remember, I was always getting them wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure that you mean? Um, what was the one that somebody? I put I put the T-shirt on because it is from the nineties, and I put it on Red um, TikTok and said that I'm surprised I could even like still get in it. It is very very tight, <laughs> but I'm surprised I could still get in it. And somebody put. It's uh, Space Corps Directive, da 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 da. Mm. I can't remember what number it was. But it was something about um, female officers having their nipples pierced. Because well, all, they're all wrong, mm. aren't they? They were yeah. like. The other says, Are you sure, sir? <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Thanks, Sharon. We, we're going to go now. You're going to go and get set up then, Wicked yeah. Day. Look, we finished for you. you for, for you, all all for you. Could do a who sculpted this. Yeah, we definitely oh, could. Oh, yeah, definitely. Right, okay. Well, we can do that. It's just fit when we're going to be able to fit it in. So, um, uh, after I've finished painting all my commitments for this month. Cause... Yeah, because I made you do a quiz <laughs> and not paint. But I don't know what Wicked Day's doing. If Wicked Day's doing something like marbles or words or something like that you can paint at the same time mm. I'll let you I'll have to go get changed though because I can't get paint on me nice tog yeah I think you should have another spin round so we can see you because you went over there last time and we couldn't see you it's gone completely now there we go let's see Nobody wanted to see that anyway. Just you. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. I, I wanted to see it. I think you should stand up and give everyone a spin of your I've just got leggings on. That's a bit creepy. Ugh. There you go. It's family friendly. I've got leggings on. <laughs> <laughs> is all set up now so thank you <laughs> so much for being here with us for two years it's like I guess I it's it. awesome thank you everybody we really really appreciate you coming and just hanging out with us while we prattle on about nonsense thank you <laughs> so much no we really we really do mean it like it's it's super awesome it is and we love you all being in the community and it's all nice <laughs> So we're going to go and raid Wicked D. Yeah. Uh, who I think's doing Word on stream. If her thingy-majig that she types is 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 right, hopefully you'll come with us and guess some words. I am appalling at it, uh, but you know. And well done, everybody in the quiz. Well done for being super awesome in the quiz and knowing far more answers to the questions that I wrote than I did. <laughs> and we should see you next Monday. Yeah, back next yep. Monday. Yep, back next Monday for more painting hijinks. Take care, everyone. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you.